second there. There was definitely a second there, Mr. <laughs> Davis, with a fear in Jim's eyes going. This is awful. Why do people come on it? <laughs> it's Christmas. It's for charity. It's oh, good. Yeah, you've got eight thousand pounds. Listen, you've got eight grand, which is good. Question number nine is for sixteen thousand pounds. Here it comes. In Victorian England, what was a fingersmith? Pianist. Postman. Pickpocket. Policeman. I think Jim. Yeah, I don't think it's a pianist. Hmm. I don't think it's a pickpocket, because there's a movie out about pickpockets coming out soon, and it's not called that. What do you think? I don't really know the answer to this. Do you think we should use a lifeline? I think we ought to phone a friend. Yes. I'm not sure. Can we phone a friend? I think this is one for Toby. Yes, let's try Toby. You like like Toby? Who's Toby? Old mate of mine. Is that me? Do you want to try? I don't know, Toby. <laughs> oh, Toby. Toby's our friend. We'd like to phone a friend, please. OK. Hello? Toby? It is. It's Chris Tarrant here, and a happy Christmas to you. And a happy Christmas to you, too. How are you, mate? Well, you know, you know what's going on. We're right in the middle of who wants to be a millionaire. Um, we've got Jim and Leah here. They're doing all right, actually. Oh, good. Yeah, no, they're doing fine. Uh, first lifeline they've needed. They're on £8,000. Uh, they're stuck for £16,000 question. Right. But Jim says Toby will know this. <laughs> no, that, his words. Toby will know. <clears throat> Right. All right, mate. Okay. Okay. Good luck, James. Your time starts now. Hi, Toby. Hi, Jim. In Victorian England, what was a fingersmith? A pianist, a postman, a pickpocket, or a policeman? Oof. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure on that one, Jim. Okay. Fingersmith. Um, oof. I would, I would guess maybe a pickpocket, but I wouldn't. Oh, it could be a pianist. Uh, it'd be one of those two, I think. OK, but mate. I'm not 100% sure. Sorry, Jim. Thanks, Tobe. No, no Sorry. problem. Sorry. Hmm. Okay. That's good. You just said it's one of the two. You said it definitely isn't. <laughs> <laughs> take your time. Have a look. It's worth a lot of money. Let's have 50-50. Yeah. OK. Computer, take away two random wrong answers. Leave Leah and Jim the right answer and one remaining wrong answer. Oh. Hmm. I have a gut feeling, and should always go with gut feelings. But you said it wasn't a pickpocket. Yeah, but if there is doubt, there is no doubt. <laughs> That's very deep. So you want the postman? Well, we're only going to lose four grand. If I lose, I'll put that in. <laughs> Stop it out of the alimony. <laughs> Serious, isn't it? You got to ask the audience. Well, uh, let's ask the audience. Sir. What do you think? Why not? Okay, let's <laughs> try. Uh, Come okay. on then. Come on then. Right, audience, on your keypads, please. One of these is worth sixteen thousand pounds. Here's the question. It was all going too well, wasn't it? In Victorian England, what was a fingersmith? Now, please don't vote A or D. That'd be rather silly. B on your keypads is postman. C is pickpocket. All in your keypads, please. B or C, all vote now. Well, my gut feeling is postman. <laughs> but then I'm thinking to myself, we're a postman about in Victorian England. It's hard enough to see one now. <laughs> and Toby said as well he thought it was pickpocket, didn't he? You pick. Are you going to pay the rest if we lose? <laughs> Is that the deal? <laughs> OK. Go for pickpocket. Yeah, pickpocket. Final answer? Yes. Quickly, please. Yeah. <laughs> final, yeah, final answer, answer Chris. You had £8,000 as well. No. We'll take a break. Join us again in a couple of minutes. No! To be a millionaire. Don't go away and a happy Christmas.
this moment. Jim Davison and Leah Christensen are in the hot seat. Uh, they were flying along. Before the break, they got this question. They're on £8,000. They knew if they gave me a wrong answer here, they would drop £7,000, although it's worth £16,000. This was the question they got in Victorian England. What was a fingersmith? Jim Davison said it definitely wasn't a pickpocket <laughs> or a pianist. He phoned his mate Toby, he said he wasn't sure, he thought it might be a pickpocket, he wasn't sure. We did a 50-50, we ended up with pickpocket and postman. We asked the audience, 79% of this audience said pickpocket. And begrudgingly, Jim then went for pickpocket and Leah as final answer. How did you feel? Oh, not very well. <laughs> How did you feel, James? Oh, no. This is a great programme. <laughs> I've never known you so quiet. You've just won 16,000. You have 16,000 pounds. Question number 10 is for 32,000 pounds, and that will be a huge amount for your charities. It would be the minimum amount you would go home with tonight. That will be guaranteed. I'd love to write you out that cheque, but. This is a bit serious, guys. If you gave me a wrong answer at this point, you have no lifelines left, you would drop £15,000. OK. It's question number 10. It's Chris, thank you. This is question number 10. It's for £32,000. You do not have to play this question. Here it comes. Who lost to Angela Mortimer in the All-British Ladies' Final at Wimbledon in 1961? Virginia Wade. Christine Truman. Anne Jones. Sue Barker. It's worth £32,000. You do not have to play. You give me a wrong answer. You drop £15,000. This is horrible, isn't it? <laughs> they all could have been it, couldn't they? <laughs> Anne Jones is that funny-looking one, isn't she? <laughs> Sue Barker. Is that Cliff's friend? <laughs> well, no. Christine Truman. Well, she played cricket. Well, that was her brother Fred, I think. I think you're fine. <laughs> yeah. Fiery Fred. I wish you were here now. <sighs> Tennis? I don't know. From 61, don't know. Well, gut feeling again, it's Virginia Wade. OK. But, uh, I don't know. That's a very expensive gut feeling, isn't it? Someone at this moment is sitting at home saying, what a dummy. <laughs> How much are we going to lose? £15,000. It's Virginia Wade. Jim. Let me just go through this again. £15,000. <laughs> Virginia Wade. Why are you suddenly so confident? Well, because I'm going to feel such a burk to just say I'm giving in. Right? And if I lose... I'll make it up to the charity, I promise. And it's her Christmas charity day. as well? Yes, I will. Because you're losing the money off her charity as well? Yeah, if you're I, promise. Saying wrong, I promise. I promise. Yeah. Shall we go? OK. Let's go Virginia Wade. If it's wrong, then I shall... The trouble is, it's getting from there to out there, knowing that you've ruined it all, isn't it? If they all promise to clap, when even when I lose, I'll go for it. <laughs> Let's go, Virginia Wade. Final answer. Well, I, know, I know it's wrong, but I just cannot go without having a stab. OK. Leah? Quickly, then. <laughs> yes. Jim, final answer. Yeah, final answer. You had £16,000. You've just lost £15,000. Oh, no! It was Fred Truman, wasn't it? It was Fred Truman. The right yeah, answer was oh, Christine never mind. Truman. Oh, I actually oh I'm really sorry. Virginia Wade oh, was more... Oh, that's all right. You know what, though? What, though? See, that was so hard, I reckon you could have lied, let me have the money, and no one would have known. <laughs> Christine Truman would have known, wouldn't she? Yeah, she would. Hey, listen, give a big hand. They still go away with a thousand pounds. Oh, oh no! no! It's a long walk. It is. Oh, bless you, man. Happy Christmas. God bless you. I'll keep going that way. Cheers, mate. Shame, he went for it as well. So, Jim and Leah go away, still having won £1,000 for their two charities, but as you heard, Jim promised to make up the extra £15,000 they'd lost. 
very generous gesture at Christmas. Now, time to welcome our second pair of celebrities this Christmas Day, Simon Cowell and Neil Fox. <laughs> So you've only got a grand to beat, then? Oh, yes. <laughs> Here we have, as if you didn't know, music mogul Simon Cowell and his fellow pop idol panellist, DJ Neil Fox. Simon left school at 16, had an early job as a humble male boy, but now runs one of the world's most successful music organisations. He's been behind a wide range of top artists, from Westlife to Robson and Jerome and the Telly Tubbies. <laughs> <laughs> With over 70 records. Didn't he tell you about that? Why are you laughing? Well, know, bring that up. With over 70 records in the top 30, 17 number ones. An amazing achievement, but he's perhaps still best known for how high he wears his trousers. <laughs> and here to argue with him about the answers tonight is another pop idol judge, Neil Fox, also known as Foxy. He's been a radio disc jockey for more than 20 years, beginning with the world-famous radio Wyvern. He now works for some obscure little London-based broadcaster called Capital FM. Rings a bit of a phone bell. And tonight, Neil's playing on behalf of the Princess Alice Hospice, while Simon's charity is the Battersea Dogs Home. I was intrigued, actually, to think, now, what would Simon Cowell's charity be? Why that one? I like dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not going to say anything. I won't say yeah. anything. Shut up. I've, I've seen some of the tabloid No, I, I like dogs. I do, I love them. But do you... I mean, have you been involved with the Battersea Dogs Home? Uh, no, I'd be too sad to go down there, actually, Chris. It is quite sad. Yeah, I would genuinely know it would be too sad, and they do a fantastic job down there. So I want the dogs to have a happy Christmas. OK. Now, Foxy, why are your particular one? Why that particular hospice? Uh, it, it's very close to well, my heart and my home. It was the uh, place where my dad died. And they, um, they looked after him for the last three weeks. OK. All right, mate. Well, I hope we can raise they as did much a good as we job. possibly can. Bless you, mate. Here we go again. <laughs> Fifteen <laughs> questions, three new lifelines are possible, £1 million for their two charities. And remember, you have to agree on all your answers and the use of any lifelines. What's the luck? Neil Simon, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs>